We'll demonstrate the viewer canvas in JGRASP with a short program that generates 10 random numbers, calls its own selection sort, and then prints them out. If we run the program, the only output is the 10 sorted numbers. If we want to see what's going on underneath, we can run it in the canvas. Here I pull the array onto the canvas and we just play. We see the 10 random numbers being generated and now we're in the sort. These variables are just located in the debug tab and have been pulled out. In fact, let's pause the program and I'll open a second canvas. And let's find list. There's list. We'll put it onto the array on the canvas. And let's make a second copy down here. And we'll change this first one to a, uh, change it to the bar graph view like we have in the one above. And on the second one, let's add the indices that we want to track. Index, min, and scan. And then we just continue playing. And we've got two canvases. All the canvases that are open that have uh, variables in scope are actually shown uh, running there. So I'm going to close this and let's end it. Let me show you one other example, a doubly linked list. It's also a selection sort, but the under, underlying data structure is a, a linked list. So we'll run it in the canvas. Here's the linked list about to be created, and JGRASP automatically recognizes this as a, as a linked list and displays it accordingly. And we're about to enter the sort, and it's the same situation. This gives the student lots of exercise in, in manipulating pointers, as you might, might imagine. We can also speed the sort up or slow it down. And we're just about done. One more thing there. Anyway, I hope this demo has been informative. It shows you the uh, utility of JGRASP uh, in conjunction with Java and understanding programs. Thank you.